Hello everyone, it's me, Anthony Couch here, a guitarist on YouTube. And today's video is actually a viewer request. I Duncan says, I'd like to see some rhythm tips please. An example would be switching between pan muted and letting the notes ring, single notes and power chords. I started to learn Metallica's Master of Puppets and can only play the intro slowly before it ends up a bit noisy with strings ringing when they shouldn't be. Well, Mr. I Duncan, you always comment on my videos, which uh, is very nice of you. So I'm gonna do this entire video just for you, but if anyone else wants to learn anything from it, then that is even better. Because yes, we all want to sound like James Hetfield and all those thrash giants. But before we get onto any of them, we have to have a, look, a quick look at the technique. So there's two things really that you've got to keep into consideration that are really important. Number one is your right hand has to be so relaxed. Think again about James Hetfield on stage for two, and Kirk Hammett for two plus hours for decades, decades, decades. You simply mm. just couldn't keep up that kind of picking for that long if you had any kind of tension in your right hand. So if there's any tension in your right hand, don't move on. In fact, go slower. Some people like to close their hand into a fist like this. Some people like to have the fingers flopping around like that. I'm definitely a flopper. But making sure that there is very little tension in my wrist. Because that's where the picking comes from, not from the arm. Uh, if you see, I think Jeff Hanneman used to pick like that. Not saying it's wrong, I'm just saying that I like to uh, be a lot more relaxed. The second thing is with your left hand. The way to make it sound even cleaner without other strings ringing out is you have to imagine this finger is doing a bar chord but isn't pressing those top strings down enough to actually produce a sound you get in this sound. So when you're on stage and you're doing your big showmanship moves like this, you are hitting all those top strings, but you just can't hear them. So they're the real basics. Let's have a look at these three exercises, starting with the beginner version. Okay, here it is. Okay, this is how it looks on the page. Standard notation, these are quaver notes. Some of them are palm muted, but the one there you can see is not palm muted. Making sure there's no tension and this hand is muting all those other strings. Build up the speed. Getting faster only with getting faster only with this hand really relaxed. The second one is based on the first one, but we're going to add one very important thing. A bit of alternate picking, so we're now going to go down, up, down, up, ba, down, up, down, up, down, up, ba, down, up, down, up, down, up, ba. So we're now going to go down, up, down, up. Again, keeping the right hand really relaxed. Muting the strings with the left hand. And only when you're super relaxed can you bump up the metronome. Then, number three, which I think is the trickiest one. Get some galloping in the really tight palm muting for these triplet rhythms. So super slow, that's that's the entire pattern. When you mix and match all these around, you end up with super fast, tight sounding thrash metal riffs. Whatever, make it up, it's all generic thrash, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> I've been Anthony Couch. 
stick around for the next video where I will do some guitar stuff. Thank you very much.